include everything. Guys, so in the last video we showed you how to basically do a quick countdown for the session timer. <laughs> now what we're going to do is we're actually going to transition to the break time. So what happens once our countdown timer ends and we have nothing but the break time? So it's, uh, luckily a lot of this stuff's very similar. So we're going to go ahead and uh, actually we'll start fresh. Let's start fresh. We'll, we'll type it all out. So um, similar to how this timer went, if our count is equal to zero, this is going to be where uh, it's going to tell the, the computer hey, this is, you need to trigger the break time function. So here, within our count equal to zero, we're gonna say, look, we need to create a variable here that we're gonna call start break, and we're gonna set this equal to the set interval, a, um, a function that we haven't, a callback function we haven't created called break timer, and we're gonna run that every thousand seconds. Now let's go to the top, create a global variable here. Uh, oh, we already did, called break time. Look at us, we're on top of it. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, going to go ahead and call that function. So let's go ahead and create it. So we're gonna create a function called break timer. Uh, where do I wanna create it? So here we go, outside of the timer function. So function break timer. It's going to look almost identical to what we just did. Function break timer. Now within here, we're going to target the time type to change the HTML. So remember how we uh, changed this to say session time? All we want to do is change it to break time so that um, the user knows if they're on break or not. So we play the sound and instantly want to say, look, HTML, change this to break time. Nice. Now, the next thing we want to do is show the break number. Because remember, the break number may be different than the session, may be different than the um, session number. And so that's why we have two different values. So we're going to bring that back. We're gonna say, look, show us the break num again. So remember, we hid that. So we're say, bring it back. Show it to us. And on that point, now that we're done with our num, we can go ahead and hide it in here. So we'll go ahead and target it because we don't want that zero hanging around, messing up our styling and formatting, and just looking kind of awkward. Um, it doesn't know when it needs to go home, so we're telling you go home. So let's go ahead and hide the num. So we're setting up a little bit of, just a little bit of formatting more or less when you really think about it. Now what do we want to do here? It's basically exactly what we did, did before. We want to take our break time, I believe that's, and we want to minus, set break time equal to break time minus one. We're gonna throw a little bit of logic here. So it's if break time is exactly equal to zero, meaning we're done, go ahead and clear that interval like we did before. Basically saying, look, stop counting down, stop running the set interval function. It doesn't know how to do that without you telling it to do it. So uh, we did, so start break. Something's wrong. Sorry, I'm just looking. I know something's wrong here. I think I may have to throw this in my timer function, which I may not have done. Yeah, whoops. Uh, so we need this to be in the same scope as what we're trying to do here. Let's go ahead and just throw this in our, th there we go. So our start break is in the correct location, everything's working, everything, everybody's happy. So our break timer here, a little space. So we're gonna show the break now, we're gonna minus it. I think it's a good point to go ahead and check, make sure everything's working like it's supposed to. 
So we're gonna we're gonna add five seconds. We're gonna start it. So there's our session time counting down. So when that hits zero, it should switch to break time, play our sound, and then start counting down from there. Time's up. So there's our break time. But we didn't add logic to output our break time. Excellent. <laughs> but uh, good. so far so good, more or less. So there's our logic. We're then going to say, look, uh, target break time, or break num, excuse me. I'm gonna say, look, break num and dot HTML, break time, save it, run it, make sure everything's working. Let's go ahead and start it. So four, three, two, one, zero. Time's up. Break time. Cool. Uh, so now that we've done that, what we need to basically do is just do some formatting. We need to clean this up. We need to set our reset button and come. And we actually have to set this in minutes and in seconds. The first thing that we can do is do the reset. Um, so uh, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll set up our reset button. So we have the case, okay, our break's finished. Now what do we do? And then after that, we'll do some formatting. And that's pretty much it. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. Uh, don't forget to like and share. It helps out the channel a ton. And a special thanks to anyone supporting me on Patreon. You're the best. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my collaboration with Eric Surf 6 going over how to get started coding. And if you're looking for some coding help, go to Code Mentor using the annotation or card. And if you're looking for internships or part-time jobs or full-time jobs as a student or a recent grad, check out wayup.com. See you guys next time.